아, 이거 트래킹 하는 거예요? 쫓아가는 거? 네, 지금 신양 팬덤 4가 앞에 트레킹을 하고 있는 모습입니다. 자전거 타고 지나가는 이제 사람들을 이제 추적하기도 있습니다. 뭐 상당히 잘 쫓아가고 이제 트레킹하고 있습니다. 다시 한 번만 보시죠. 내가 볼게. 그... 아 예, 소리가 나면서 이제 장애물 인식하고 자동으로 수직으로 상승한 다음에 이렇게 가네요. 4 here. So Phantom 4 compared to Phantom 3 is more streamlined. The design is more aerodynamics. So compared to Phantom 3, Phantom 4 can fly up to 28 minutes. And this is not only because of the more capacity of the battery, but also because of the, of the more streamlined design. So you can take a look at the Phantom 4. So the gimbal here is U cradle. So everything with Phantom 4 is more stabilized than Phantom 3. And you can see we have we actually with Phantom 4 we have five cameras on board, so two forward yeah, five. facing five yeah, so two forward facing cam optical sensors which can actually sense an up uh, sorry which can actually sense the obstacle and make smart decisions. So this is the main camera. So the main camera is still a 4K camera, but it got upgraded lens. So it can have better effect of corner sharpness and it minimizes the effect of chromatic aberration. So down here we have two ultrasonic sensors and two optical sensors as well. Oh, this one is the optical sensor? This is ultrasonic sensors and this is two, ah. two sensors as well. Oh. Mm -hmm. right. The big difference is sensors yeah. from Phantom 3. Yeah, it's the sensors and two, we add two forward facing sensors with Phantom 4. Yeah. Oh, is there so, any sensor or camera? No, not a side, yeah. So with these two sensors and with the refined algorithm, Phantom 4 has a lot of new features. So for example, one of them is tap fly. So as the name implies, if you tap a destination on your smart device, the Phantom 4 will just go there automatically. So you don't have to worry about the flying anymore. You can just concentrate on your shooting, on your camera, on your gimbal, and on your creativity. Oh, you, you mean it's a function of the tracking? That's the tap fly. People or some of those the, Yeah, the feature I just talked about is called tap fly. Mm -hmm. The one you just mentioned is called active track. Mm -hmm. So for active track, if like on the smart device, you can box a figure or a car or a path, and then the Phantom 4 will lock onto you and then it will track you. So even if you're wrong, even if you walk, even if you turn around and your profile changes, the Phantom 4 will still track you and no matter what you move. Yeah, so that's active track. So with active track, even if like you walk, like uh, with Phantom 3, it is kind of hard to do an obstacle to do the wrong chasing. But with Phantom 4, if you just yard the controller and the Phantom 4 will just do it automatically. So you don't have to correct your course every other time. So the Phantom Force remote controller has a pops button right now. So in any autonomous flight, if the user feels not confident enough, they can just click this pops button and the drone will just stop and hover. Yeah, so another change is here. 
So right now you see three different modes. The middle one is sport mode. So sport mode is also one of the new features with Phantom 4. So when it's in sport mode, the Phantom 4 can actually go up to 45 miles per hour. Uh, you so mean sport mode going fast. Exactly, exactly. So it goes, to, it gives the user a taste of drone racing. And like say in some search and rescue scenarios, Phantom 4 can go faster to the destinations. Yeah. 